guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a hair tutorial on how I curl my hair. This is my go-to hairstyle and most of the time if I do my hair, this is how I do it. I straightened my hair for years but I didn't really like how it suited me and then I found a curling iron in my aunt's hair stash and luckily she let me have it. And I've been in love ever since. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna section this off and I'll put the timestamps down below if you just wanna skip right on to the tutorial. But I'm just gonna tell you a few things to know about my hair. I'll tell you the products I use and then I'm gonna go on and do the tutorial. Okay, so for a few facts about my hair. First, I only get my hair cut about three to four times a year. That's just because I like to let it grow out so I can maintain my length. And then when I go and get a cut, I just get the dead ends cut off and that's it, just to maintain the health. Then secondly, I only wash my hair about twice a week, like once every three to four days. I just find my hair works better when it gets used to its natural oils. And thirdly, I have never colored my hair. And that means I've never bleached or dyed my hair. I've just never really been interested in it. And lastly, when I go and get my hair cut at the salon, I ask for shorter layers in the front and longer layers at the back, and that's so the back of my hair looks really long and luscious, and then the front parts of my hair, I ask for shorter pieces so that it frames my face better. And that's it. Now for the products that I use. Before I wash my hair, either on the day or the night before if I can, I use this Kerastase Elixir K Ultime L'Oreal Oil. This is just to nourish my hair before I wash it and it just kind of restores it and I really, really like how this product makes my hair feel. Then for shampoo and conditioner, I've been using the John Frieda Frizz Ease Forever Smooth duo. I just did a blog post on this. Um, I really like the effect that this has on my hair. It doesn't like, you know, do incredible miracles. I mean, it is summer, it is humid, so I still do get a little bit of frizz, but this definitely helps and I've really been enjoying it. If I try and push a wash a little bit, so I don't really need to wash my hair, but also it doesn't look 100% clean, I'll use the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is just a really good one. It's relatively inexpensive and I like this one. So all I do is I hold up sections of my hair, I'll spray a little bit in and then I work it in with my fingers and it just soaks up a little bit of the excess oil. Then once I've washed my hair, I use these two products. This is the L'Oreal Studio Pro Sleek It Ultra Smoothing Cream. This has a heat protectant in it, so I really like, I don't use this every single time, but when I know I'm styling my hair, I use this. And it just really helps to protect my hair from the heat and it holds a curl better and it makes it look Sleeker. And I just take about a one to two rand coin size in my hand, rub it between my hands, and then I just work it into towel dried hair when it's still damp. Then I also take about three pumps of this and I just work it into my ends. This is the Pantene Pro V Instant Split End Mender Serum. So it does what it says and it just mends my split ends. Then once my hair is dry and before I style it, I spray this GHD Curl Hold Spray. This is another heat protectant just because. You know, you can never protect your hair enough. And I just wait for this to dry and then I'll style my hair. Then once my hair is styled, I like to take a hair oil. So I have this little sample of the Kardashian Beauty dry oil. I've also got this Hey Gorgeous Jamaican castor and chai oil. You can also use Moroccan oil. It's just, I like having any kind of oil that doesn't weigh my hair down to use on the ends so that it shines and it keeps it healthy. Then another staple in my hair care routine is the Tangle Teaser. These are now available at Clicks, and I know that I think they're available on a few online stores. But this thing is amazing. I don't know any other brush that combs my hair as well as this thing does when it's wet. It just glides through all my knots and it's it doesn't pull or hurt. I have a very sensitive scalp and I love this. Um, so once my hair's damp, I brush through with this because I don't really brush my hair that much. But this is a gem. Then for the curling iron that I like to use, this is the Style Solutions Curling Wand. I've tried the Tony and Guy one, that was only because I had to and I didn't have another curling iron. That didn't hold my curl well and I just wasn't impressed by it at all. And then my aunt gave me this one and I couldn't have thanked her enough and this is all I used to curl my hair with. I've never heard of this brand but it works like a bomb. Well that's everything I wanted to tell you so now let's just get right into the tutorial. So as you can see, my hair is quite curly naturally. I just like to use a curling one so that it's a more controlled curl. So what I like to do first is I split my hair into two. Then I tie off the one side with an elastic band. I take my brush and I brush through the section so that it's easier to work with. And then on the side that I'm gonna be curling, I section that side off as well and I clip up 
the remaining hair in a clip on top of my head and then I start curling my hair. The way that I curl my hair is I section off one inch pieces. I point the curling wand down, I put the hair in front of the curling wand and then I curl away from my face. I hold it for about 12 seconds then I hold it in my hand for a few seconds just so it cools down and it holds the curl a little bit better and then I drop the curl and then I just repeat the process. So now that I'm at the front of my hair and you can see better what I'm doing, I just take one inch piece, I point my curling wand down, put my hair in front of the curling wand and I curl away from my face. I hold it there for a couple seconds, let it go for a couple seconds and then I drop it. And then I just repeat the whole process. enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it helps you out because I know when I started I watched a few tutorials but I know it was more practice than anything else. If you do your hair like this please take pictures and tag me on Twitter or Instagram or post on my Facebook page. I'll leave all of those links down below. I just love wearing my hair like this and I hope you guys do too. I'll leave all the product details and all extra information in the description box down below so just check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.